speak about their experience with a very small minority of those who travel to protest at water meter installation sites. The workers would only speak to us on condition we didn't show their faces. It's so unpredictable when you get somebody that comes out with a, a, a knife, starts waving it in front of you, um, golf clubs, baseball bats, um, a hatchet, you know, swinging these things, breaking windows, slashing tires. You're, you're on edge, kind of, you're kind of more conscious on what you do, where you go, even to the shop, um, going home at night. You're kind of watching your back. Oh, they come in groups, uh, maybe two or three together in groups, and they come in in a car, and then they, they knock on all those doors, and they, they come ahead of us, maybe knocking on doors, and uh, then they, they get everybody else standing out behind them, and then they get, then they get uh, people standing out in front of us, and then they pull barriers down, and if there's a young, young people in, in the estate, they get them also to pull everything down, and... and uh, by the time the Gardaí comes in, the whole thing is in disarray. One particular time at, at the traffic lights and a car pulled up beside me, just asked me to roll down the window. I thought they were looking for directions and just sped into my face. There's a different element in these protests right now and it's, it seems to be organised um, and a small group um, that you continuously see um, during these protests they in turn, the people that do that to your head and tell you, <coughs> get out of town, you know. 